So if acne scar bothers you, there are safe and effective treatment. The treatment can diminish acne scars that can cause depression in the skin and treatment can also safely reduce scars which are raised. So many treatments are available. In short, if I have to tell you, there are laser treatments, minor skin surgeries, chemical peels, fillers, then a dermatologist can actually give you an idea what treatment is required for your particular case. And most treatments can actually happen in a daycare, as a daycare procedure. So you don't have to get admitted. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Raised acne scars treatment can ease pain and diminish the scar. There are various treatments which the doctor dermatologist can use. First is the injection. Your doctor may recommend injecting a medicine directly into the scar which can actually soften or flatten the scars like thick scars. It can soften and flatten thick scars. Get, for getting the best result, you often require repeated visits and these injections are usually given once every few weeks. You often will need to return for treatment depending upon the scar and how many and many other considerations which your doctor will guide. You may need to get repeated uh, injections every two to six weeks for a while. Many patients receive injections of corticosteroids, a, sometimes a chemotherapy medicines called 5-fluorouracil which can also be used by a dermatologist which is also effective in treating raised acne scars and some scars respond best when they inject both 5 fluorouracil and corticosteroids both are injected. Interferon which is also used in treating cancer can also be effective because a uh, naturally produced interferon also inside. So the choice will be on your doctor and you should discuss the same. And if the scar does not respond or stops responding after you receive the fourth injection, the acne scar surgery may be recommended. You might need that. This type of acne scar injections are best for raised scar which are painful, painful and raised scars. Then coming on to acne scar surgery. This is also an option for raised scars. Same option is for, this is also an option for depressed scars. Dermatologist performs acne scar surgeries to reduce raised acne scars. This can be performed in an office visit in some time, does not require admission. To obtain the best result, acne scar surgery is often followed by another treatment, acne scar surgery followed by injections. After surgery, a dermatologist treats the raised scars with injections of these things. Then. Combined acne scar surgeries with these shots remains one of the most effective treatment for raised scars and most patients receive one injection once a month after of, for a few months. Now studies show that radiation can actually prevent raised scars from returning after acne scar surgery because yes they can return, they can come back. But due to the potential for radiation treatments to cause problems years and decades later some doctors do not recommend that treatment so acne scar surgery is the best if you have raised scar that need more than just injections then third option is laser treatment yes lasers and other light treatment can actually treat raised scars safely and effectively the treatment with a pulsed dye laser pdl pulsed dye laser can help reduce itch and pain diminish color flatten the raised scar all these things for people with lighter skin intense pulsed light ipl may also be a treatment option this labor this type of laser treatment can be used in all types of acne scars then the next type of treatment is cryosurgery this treatment actually freezes the scar tissue. Freezing the scars, freezing the tissue causes it to die and gradually fall off. 
Now to improve the result of this treatment, your doctor can recommend series of sessions with corticosteroid injections. A combination gives better results. The main drawback of this is that it can cause permanent light spots to form on the treatment area. But it can effectively diminish red scars in people who have lighter skin already. But it is not recommended for skin of other colors. Not lighter skin. Darker colors. Then scar creams and gels and silicone dressings and bandages are also available. These are often available without a prescription and these can be used by you at home to self treat your raised scar, raised scars. Don't treat your pits, pores with these scar creams because these products can help reduce the itch and discomfort as well as shrink and flatten and fade the raised scars. Now, silicone dressing and bandages can be especially helpful although no one knows for sure how these things work one possibility is that silicone helps to hydrate the skin this may reduce the itch and pain as well as make the skin more flexible now to be effective these products must be used continuously and this can be difficult especially for scars on the face many people are willing to do this because the treatments have little risk and many because you cannot just carry things attached on the face. But still many people are willing to do this because these treatments have little risk of side effects. A little lesser risk, uh, have a lesser risk of side effects. Even so, with continuous use, some people develop itchy and irritated skin. The usual and that, but that, but this usually clears when the person stops using the product. So these creams, gels and silicones uh, best if for reducing scar size and discomfort, but none is likely to eliminate. But none is likely to eliminate a raised scar. So make sure these are not actual treatments. These are just used to reduce the scar size to make it less visible and easier discomfort. Lastly, should you actually go for acne scars treatment or not? Most treatments can actually reduce the size and visibility of your acne scars but with time most of the treated acne scars fade and with time most of the treated acne scars fade making them barely noticeable. So your result and your result depend almost entirely on the knowledge and skill of the doctor, the dermatologist, the person who is performing the treatment. So it's vital to choose a good doctor. Dermatologists and dermatological surgeons perform these procedures frequently so they have the skills and experience needed to perform these procedures safely and effectively. There is a better way. There is a better solution. Prevention. Prevent acne scars so that you don't have to go through all these things. To prevent them, you need to learn how they are formed. So go back, look at my channels, acne series, start from the basics and you will know what to do. Lastly, as promised, I'll be giving tips for managing acne scars. For most of you, it may seem that acne scars are inevitable. However, there are things which you can do to reduce your risk of seeing a scar when acne clears. First is treat the acne on time and prevent acne. The fewer breakouts you have, the lesser likely you are to develop acne scars. Now treating the acne especially is especially now, treating acne is especially important to prevent scarring. If you have any of the following like Severe acne. If you have a severe painful cyst nodular acne, then you need to treat it. Very important. If acne, if you have acne that begins in younger age, people who develop acne in preteens often develop severe acne within a few years, and they are very important to treat them. Treating the acne before it becomes severe has benefits including lesser risk of developing acne scars. 
and if your blood relatives who have acne scars then you have a more tendency because acne scars have genetic tendencies to run the family and it's very important and it's it's and it's very important for you that when your acne clears you need to continue the treatment regime to keep the skin blemish free the dermatologist will also recommend continuing skin acne treatment most people can actually taper their treatment so that they use they use one product a few times per week and dermatologists can tell you when you can stop treating your skin safely make sure of one thing if you stop treating your skin as soon as your acne clears they will come back and most importantly avoid popping picking squeezing and breaking your acne this can turn a minor breakout into a major problem and a permanent acne scars and practice gentle skin care whenever there is an acne flare many people scrub their skin clean scrubbing your skin tends to worsen acne the worse acne gets the greater your chances of seeing a permanent scar when this acne clears so guys that's all about acne scars which i can tell you i hope you have got everything which you need and for any further information guidance go to a good dermatologist many dermatologists are good many are not so if you're not satisfied with one change your doctor so till next time i'm dr paramjit and you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy do watch the acne series